please subscribe. Members of the General Legal Council, the National President of the Ghana Bar Association, the Director and Lecturers of the Ghana School of Law, distinguished invited guests, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. You are all very warmly welcome. We're gathered here this afternoon, on this occasion, to witness the induction of Mr. Daniel Yao Opong, Director of the Ghana School of Law, into office as the Director of Legal Education, as per Section 1, Subsection 4 of Act 32, which states, the Council shall appoint a Director of Legal Education and such other offices as they may require. And I am privileged to make this, these opening remarks in compliance with the statutory requirement. There can be no doubt whatsoever that the law is fundamental to the orderly organization of the state. Indeed, it is the foundation on which our country is built and governed, and this makes today's ceremony doubly important because the growth of any tree has direct consequences for the fruits that it produces. Occasions such as this provide the opportunity for reflections on legal education and the profession itself. Much has been made of the need for change. It is impossible to ignore the tides of change that are sweeping our profession and indeed the world. Much less impossible is to stand astride this way, hands outstretched, yelling stop. What we must do is incorporate these changes into our work without compromising the foundational ethics of the practice of law. We are, all of us, bound to continue in a never-ending quest to better the profession and the way in which it is practiced. This would have been true even if we were not buffeted by the winds of change. This profession has survived centuries because at every turn, it has found ways to reinvent itself while remaining true to its core values. The question we must never stop to ask is, how can we improve the practice and utility of law for the generations that will come after us? The search for that answer begins with legal education and the induction of its director later in this program. On this note, I welcome you all once again and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to respond to our invitation. Together, let us make this event a resounding success. Thank you. I would like to stand before you on this solemn yet historic day at the ceremony formally induct Yao Okong Esquire into the distinguished office of director of the Ghana School of Law. It is so because an induction ceremony of the four and he is an age-old tradition that has been observed over centuries to formally assign individuals who serve to high offices spanning across the clergy, literary and academic, academia amongst others. Beyond this solemnity, 
Today's ceremony is equally and undoubtedly historic. It is historic because this site being founded more than 60 years ago, and with its rich history and reputation, this is the first time an induction ceremony, properly so called, is being held for an inductee into the high office of the director of the Ghana School of Law. The proud inductee in question is the upon the spot. Suffice it to say that the inductee is a man of many parts, a lawyer by training, obviously, but he's also a trained and experienced arbitrator, a prolific writer, and a law lecturer. There is even a new addition to his growing accolades. Recently installed as a Marek Mayor of the Achim Ebuaka Traditional Council under the soon name of the Command Soul for Beni Magyal Kodye It is his name and honor that we gathered here this morning. It is his day, a day that he deserves and has been well earned. Just like a bride on a wedding day, he is the signature of all eyes this morning, and I do not intend to take any more of his shining time. As one of the key proponents of the ceremony, I am happy and feel proud to be present and witness this day. We at the Ghana Bar Association are very proud of the success and accomplishment of the inductee, not only as a product of the Ghana School of Law, but also as a member of the association. It is not lost on me that we are all key with stakeholders in the revolution of legal education in Ghana. The Ghana School of Law overwhelmingly feeds the Ghana Bar Association. The intersection of the Ghana School of Law and the Bar Association is thus unquestionable. Let me take this opportunity to assure the inductee and his able management of the Ghana School of Law of the utmost cooperation, firm support, and the ready assistance of the Ghana Bar Association in the course of his tenure, especially in this period of raging concerns about assets to and quality of legal education and training in Ghana, as well as issues relating to professional ethics of practitioners. These are amongst others that we hope to have more collaboration. We shall be a strong ally. Your own squad, we have no doubt about your competence, character, and resourcefulness to deliver on your mandate. We urge you to do your best in all things as you prove your mettle in the service of Mother Ghana. In order to succeed, you need a large dose of humility. Our earnest hope and desire is to see you succeed and build on the successes of your predecessors while stimulating innovation and growth in placing the Ghana School of Law in a much higher pedestal. May God bless you. Thank you very much. The new director of the Red Fish, director of Ghana School of Law, Mr. Yao, Daniel Mokong. President of the Ghana Bar Association, Mr. Yao, Tampo Bafu. Members of the Ghana Bar Association, students of the Ghana School of Law, it is a gentleman, French Ovidia. It is with a lot of excitement that I rise to make these remarks. Today, as far as I'm aware, the first time an induction ceremony is being held, the director of legal education goes to doubles as the director of the Ghana School of Law. By the end of section 1, section 3 of the Legal Profession Act 1960, Act 32, the legal counsel is required to appoint the director of legal education and other officers for the purposes of legal education. Under Act 32, the director is a member of the Board of Legal Education, which has the all important function of administering and supervising legal education and confirming such other functions that the General Legal Council will delegate to it. It would seem, therefore, that the Director of Legal Education, though not a member of the General Legal Council, performs a very important role in legal education in particular. In fact, there has not been an induction ceremony for past directors so far. It may seem to be a rather significant omission. I probably to my good friend, Mr. Yonkong, and his appointment as the Director of Legal Education. Special applications also go to him, the same manager of the Ghana School of Law, for putting together this beautiful and noble ceremony. Honor to Justice, the novelty of the occasion highlights the honorable mantle our new director is assuming. A Director of Legal Education will lead the faculty of teachers devoted to shaping the academic and professional training of persons who will be entered onto the role of lawyers in Ghana. The nation will look up to such persons as voices of conscience to society and leaders in many spheres of our national life. We will be responsible for ensuring the resolution of the many problems which will take against the school's running of legal education in Uganda. Sufficiently close with enormous experience for the private sector, I have no doubt at all that Mr. Yaokon will rise to the occasion and give off his best for satisfaction of the pressing needs of the school of law. 
One such Indian link is a collaboration we have subscribed in the General Legal Council to tackle the present fiscal relationship and strange the school estrangement. Accommodated in the now literally exhausted and overstretched facilities in the heart of business district of Accra, popularly known as Makola, where we are, the Ghana School of Law, which for marriage in 1976, now has about 3,000 students in total. Not much expansion in infrastructure has been witnessed since its inception, with the exception of the opening of three more campuses in Legon, Gimpa, and Kumasi all of which are housed in temporary premises. Even though the General Legal Council is responsible for resolving the situation, I expect the director to be the central figure coordinating efforts in this regard. Hello, Chief Justice. As the Council strives to provide a sound and continuous associate for the person of professional legal education, the need for students to apply themselves to the lead the person of their studies cannot be negotiated. Our lawyers must be world class, and we cannot achieve this without dedication to excellence in legal education. Students must invite their movements of careful and serious training, industry and methodology. This, the new director of legal education, together with the academic faculty, will be responsible for incorporating into the students' mechanism of work. Clearly, there is an urgent need to ensure the delivery of sound academic training for lawyers of this generation and generations to come. I repeat an admonition again to the law students at the soft passing ceremony for the construction of the law village project last year that Ghana cannot afford to gamble with its future by sacrificing the time and the virtues and legal profession for the education of its law students. I will take this opportunity to denounce the tendency of law students to deploy social and traditional media, to publish for obscene materials, rhetoric and other materials which clearly bring the law school and the profession in general into the schools. Such conduct is dishonorable and should be met with appropriate disciplinary sanctions. Lawyers have since independence been instruments of positive change, especially in democracy and governments. The training of lawyers is thus not consistent with tendencies which effectively erode and undermine the time on the dignified place of the law in society. It is therefore very clear that the issue of ethical discipline has become increasingly important in these times. Every law school around the world considers a profound duty and a unique opportunity to incorporate principles of professional ethics and standards in these students. This duty should permit the entire educational experience beginning with the first hour or the first day in the law school. All three branches concerned with training of lawyers, the school, the bar, and the bench ought to cooperate in this enterprise. It was that with a lot of grief that I received the recent news of the liquid of entrance examination persons at the Ghana School of Law. Whilst assuring that this year, system that will protect the integrity of the examinations will definitely be adopted for the examinations, I say that the situation was most unwarranted and deplorable. An applicant for admission at the law school has no business relying on leaked examination persons. Anyone caught in such an act must be forever banned from sitting for such examinations. My Lord, I pray for the guidance of the Almighty for the new diet of legal education. I pay the support of myself and my ministry, especially in respect of vanity matters. I'm aware that at a matter of serious concern to the Ghana School of Law, just like other agencies under my ministry, is the grossly insufficient allocation of funds, especially in the area that characterizes as goods and services. This, I observe, is a general concern to all institutions under the Ministry of Justice. I will work with the new director to address this concern and to ensure that. Within the general constraints of the nation's legal press, the law school is fully catered for. I wish the soon to be inducted director of the education, the very best. God bless the Ghana School of Law, God bless us all. The National President of the Ghana Bar Association, lecturers of the Ghana School of Law, distinguished guests, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, we all gathered here this morning for a ceremony which promises to be a brief and very significant the induction of the Director of Legal Education and the Ghana School of Law. It is the making addition in the history of legal education in Ghana, which dates back as far as 1958, when the Legal Profession Act 1958 was enacted by Parliament. That act created the General Legal Council the responsibility of legal education among others. It is believed that anything that is virtual 
either does not last or is inconsequential. Definitely, the position of the Director of Legal Education in the Ghana School of Law is of huge substance and significance. The new ritual to induct the Director into office at a momentous ceremony like this and therefore a step in the right direction as it amplifies his enormous responsibilities. The induction also heightens expectations of the director to deliver to our mutual benefits as provided administrators and supervisors of legal education as well as our clients who are the students of this school. It is my hope that this ceremony will be institutionalized in this school for years to come. Just as lawyers have a responsibility to the courts and also to serve the needs of their clients, the General Legal Council, and more particularly, the Director of Legal Education is also charged with making tangible contributions for the betterment of the legal profession generally. A breach of these responsibilities could result in serious repercussions for the legal profession. This event provides an opportunity for a short but deep reflective thinking on the dynamics and developments on the legal educational front. These include the proliferation of law faculties, making admission to the laws to highly competitive, constitutional rule and increased awareness in rights. More importantly, it is the enhanced need to chair our critical mass of highly disciplined and trustworthy legal professions. All this underlines the necessity to strengthen and empower the Office of the Director of Legal Education. The ultimate goal, therefore, is to scale up the quality of legal education, legal practice, and get safe delivery in our country. Mr. Director, it bears reminding you that the position you occupy is a client-centered public office in an institution funded by the public press. Does the need to ensure that all times we need to work in the interest of that land, the good people of Ghana and the country at large. Today, the Ghana School of Law, which provides legal education in the country, currently has four additional campuses at Legon, Gimpa, KAUSC, apart from the main campus here in the heart of the Central Business District of Accra. This calls for proper coordination of rules and practices taking cognizance of the ever-increasing student population and its attendant challenges. The old ways of administering and supervising legal education must change while keeping pace with best practices to ensure that the products turn out are relevant and responsive to the country's development needs. The General Legal Council, which I have the opportunity to check, cannot and dare not compromise on standards in the wake of the proliferation of the law faculties. Otherwise, the adage that it is better to defend oneself in the face of the law than have a bad lawyer defend you would go through it. I have every confidence that with your humility, commitment, and dedication to duty, you as the new director of legal education and the Ghana School of Law will rise up to the challenge of upholding the image of the institution by ensuring quality and not quantity of professionals that will walk through the gates of the school. Congratulations on your appointment. May the good Lord bless the work of your hands. May he bless all of us and make our nation great and strong. Thank you. Some of the same persons who have also been for me. This is 
the secrets of my performance. And I give it all to God. Well, some have already started, as I said. You know the postcode. We also were called to the bar in other countries like UK and Nigeria and Gambia. They come here by law, they have to do seven months, one year. Um, in the past, they were not being given awards at all, even if they perform better than their colleagues. So, for the first time, we were able to introduce awards to them. By the some of the parties, we've been able to and we are going to give them awards. Also, even those who were best students in all the 11 centers, things that might have not been given awards. This time, we did not have the use of all the we also have as all of the key policies to make it easy for this to go to the future, go to the UK, to be in the UK, to go to our lectures, to go to the UK, to go to the UK, to come to Ghana to pay this length of time to um, engage in lectures here. Again, we have also some scholarship to the UK, to go to the UK. I was promised to last year or this last June for the exam I had to personally guarantee the payment of fees for about four people. And so when we went out crying, we got some people to be out crying. And we have also promised to help us set up some scholarship scheme for not needy students because I don't believe that by the grace of God there's any needy student here, but there will be times that people may be in need some critical facilities that call for payment of money to be in the position to support them as well. So these are many more in the fact that bigger education should be more about practical. So next week, by the grace of all by 21st, we make announcement all Ghanaians who have bigger issues in terms of funding, divorce, Landlord and tenancy, even the criminal offense. But once the case is not pending, we will have lecturers here, some of them are um, judges, to engage them. And by that, we will also be involving our students to know how cases are start from the beginning. And at the same time, we will be rendering pro bono services to the needy, but um, people who have problems, with that problems. So we'll try and solve it, and at the same time, our students will also be some benefit for me. Well, I think as you are in a well uh, aware, the president can be for the commencement of the work and the work. It started, unfortunately, the contractor had some problems and had to abandon site. Um, work is being done on it and talks are being also undertaken. It's possible that very soon the law village or any other or additional alternative we call on the general public, but unfortunately we cannot do them in a paper. If your son doesn't pass the exam, we cannot do you any further. But that notwithstanding, we invite them all to do us a favor because the effect of that favor may be a benefit even somebody who is not their own child, or the children, grandchildren of their own children, they want to come to benefit from the guys. We all want as many people as possible to become lawyers, but that comes from hard work and also availability of facilities. So that way, we cannot give to the public what they so earnestly and deeply want. So we call on the president. For me, the best part, uh, factory is a factory where human capital is developed. And the best human capital in my humble view is law, legal profession. So they should come and see us and provide us with some of the management for one day, one day. Because the number one factory is the Ghana School of Law, without which they will enter into wrong agreements because they had no proper legal advice and the one the one they have collapse. So please tell the president <laughs> the number one factory is there.
he has already promised to support us. So if we can use other uh, institutions of state that have some money to make them go, they to come and support the Ghana School of Law. With this, we will get the number one factory and the rest will follow. And there are things that the council has done for us and the students that are in GSA and have been in Casa. So it is better that we don't talk about it. But when you see changes coming, you see many people being called to the bar, it means whilst not compromising quality, quantity is also important. I always say that I don't believe in the saying that um, we will not churn out so many lawyers because to compromise quality. I think if there was anybody who was addicted to uh, Apple phones, then it's me. They can produce millions within the shortest possible time, but they will not compromise quality because they, they are very certain about the quality of their product and they put in the best. And that's why as difficult as people may take the entrance exam, which is anyway by law, it is a system by which the best raw material is selected and we have selected the best lecturers and we have the best factory including the staff imagine staff who may be even staff of some of these students very wealthy very powerful ceos paramount chiefs asofo and so on but we have to manage them here under very difficult circumstances we are able at least to double the last highest number of lawyers in 2020, which was, 300, uh, four, um, which was 424. And then we nearly got the double, which was 844, but for the two that whose applications were dismissed on that day. You know, like, yeah. So we are here. We just want you to understand that there are no rules that militate against the so-called Narigandian Kami. I wouldn't have been here. I say I'm a person, or I used to be a person of no known address. Nobody even knows my mother or my father. But I'm here and doing even more. I know for a fact that even those who make the rules, some of their relatives or children have even failed. I told you about how our own workers some couldn't pass. So just try and dispel those unfortunate notions and give us the credit. It's not easy to train adults. Now we are almost 3,000 students, three campuses in Accra, in fact, yes, now Legon is no more. So we have here, we have Impa, UPSA, and then in Kumasi. So imagine, these are very big people, managing them, but they respect us, give us due regard, and that is why we've been able to manage. Continue to pray for us, without that, we will succeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as uh, my senior colleague said, I'm privileged to be the Speaker of Congress of the Ghana School of Law for the 2022-2023 academic year. Indeed, uh, today marks a great day in the history of the school. Uh, as members of the Ghana School of Law and the leadership of the SRC, uh, we represent the entire students of the Ghana School of Law. Uh, we did it appropriate to also share in the history that has been made today. Indeed, not just any person who today has been sworn in as a director of legal education and director of our school. Uh, as somebody who has been a father to us as students, and we did recognize his effort as guidance leadership together with the management of the school that he keeps to keep to us so as we can come out as proper and well-respectable lawyers in the society that we find ourselves. And so today, on behalf of the president and the entire SRC leadership and the students body, we have this presentation to make, which is a citation of Anna. And I would like to read uh, this to uh, director. Uh, the citation reads, citation of Anna presented to Berima Yao Kodye Opon, director of legal education, director of Ghana School of Law. On behalf of the Students' Representative Council, SRC 2022-2023, in honor of your exemplary and invaluable leadership towards the expansion of legal education in Ghana, we wish you all the best in your new office as a director of legal education and a director of the Ghana School of Law. And indeed, it was signed by the president, Ata Ejepon Francis Jr., the president of the SRC for the 2022-2023. And this is a great day. We are really honored, director. Indeed, you have been a father to us. You've guided us. And we are so happy that as a father, 
you have been elevated again, and we know that with your leadership, the visions that you have put across, it is going to benefit us as students and even beyond. And so we want to take part of this symbolic event and also to bring this citation to your present and present it as so. Thank you, and we wish you all the best. Please look at the camera, both of you. Of course, before I zoom office on 1st February 2022, there had been some issues that had arisen sometimes between the SRC and the school. Of course, I was a teacher here, so I was privy to some of the issues and even before I took office I had determined on my own as a lecturer to intervene in a number of occasions and so I was happy to have had the opportunity to now be in the position to determine conclusively those matters that uh, kept emerging and I'm very happy to know and also to accept the fact that this current SRC at least as I have witnessed, uh, working in collaboration with the school. And when matters come up, you are very conscientious and eager to defend the school. After all, it's your own school. We have already taken our certificate. It appears that in the past, when bad news have uh, been churned out, normally contrived and not based on any factual basis, so on that very day, in that very room, even after taking the oath, as you are going to pick up your certificate, which is the final stage, the application can be dismissed. So in that room, you are an applicant with your motion or application to move. And this is what some people don't understand. Because it's a calling. And with callings like priesthood and in medic medicine also, the medical profession, the same provision is in it good character. After everything else, you present an application and justify why it should be granted. And if, even on the very day you engage in certain conduct or you present your application in such a way that it is inadmissible, you will not be called to the bar. And even if your certificate is given you and to your name is entered in the role of lawyers, which is the very final ultimate status of your being a lawyer or not. Until that, you are still not, you don't have the prima facie proof that you are a lawyer. It started in 1877 with the first person being an Englishman. And then we are here now. By the grace of God, the highest number was 2020. That was 424. We almost doubled it. If these people had been called, we would have left it about two to make it uh, 848 almost doubling the 2020. So the place is open with a little bit of hard work. As I said, there should not be any apprehension or anxiety about passing anymore. There should be legitimate expectation that you've done well, but how well are you going to do? But that depends on us as lecturers and you as students. Obviously, you know, some people are doing the law on part-time basis, and the law hates part-time. You come for lectures twice in a week doesn't mean that you go close your book and wait till the other week. No, go to the libraries, they are well stocked. Now all the law reports are available online. Assess them. Apply yourself. If you have to take job off two years, take it off. After as I say jokingly, it's better to have your two hands and not be able to be called to the bar as a law student. Alright? But to lose your two hands and be called to the bar when you are done. If you want 10 hands, you have them, mm. as it were. So try and push aside some of the competing interests. You know, the law, they say, is a, is a very jealous spouse. But when you bring another wife, it will not complain. It will rather leave you. That's how it is. So I'm very grateful to God and to you. And we will continue to work together even after you have left. And always count on me. And whether rain or shine, 
night or day, you can always just tell us how we are also not meeting your needs. It's always important that you also point it out to us. Of course, with the cross language. Right. And I'm always available. The director's seminar is available. Anytime there are spaces, if you call me, I will just come or call someone. So 21st, we put modalities in place. We'll call, we'll ask you to even select among yourselves about 20, 21 of yourselves. Put up tables out. Whoever has issues, let them come. So you can help us also do the announcement in your platform, right. GBC. Anybody with issues, that will be the 21st next week. Let them come. We'll sit here. Judges, law students, lawyers, myself, listen to them. Let's give to society. And at the same time, you also learn. Right? Above all, it will be 50-25 December. So wow. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please subscribe.